All right. So I'll begin with, of course, my Reiki music. Hopefully you'll hear it a little bit anyway. Um, the Reiki music has healing tones and the sounds and all that is also part of uh, Qigong. And Qigong is um, healing energy over the course of time. Uh, we are all born with a certain amount of healing energy. And then how we choose to cultivate that is what helps us stay healthy over the lifespan. So thinking of Qigong as like a great garden that needs cultivation, uh, your Qigong practice and a part of what we're going to do also is a little self massage. So it's almost like a acupressure um, points with gentle tapping. So our focus is going to be on three intentful enhancements. Those are our focal points. Uh, this is from Dr. Roger Junkie, who is um, a Tai Chi and Qigong master. Uh, we're going to begin with thinking of posture. Posture is like the key to almost anything that we do as far as physical activity, very important. But posture, breath, and mind. When we mind the body and the breath, and then clear the mind to distill what's called the heavenly elixir within. That is our healing Qigong. So we're going to adjust the posture first so that that helps us breathe better and we kind of begin to breathe along with that. And then that becomes the natural way for us to relax and then clear the mind because we're focusing on the breath and getting our body in that postural alignment. So as we go through, please, I will always direct you back so that you're consciously aware of your entire body. That's the beauty of these kind of mindful practices. It's not just working on one body part. It's working the entire body at one time. So let's begin. We're going to begin in a seated position. And we're going to begin with the feet. The feet are definitely our balance. Um, balance points. They help ground us and they help bring energy up from the earth. So let's kind of move the toes, lift the heels, kind of move those feet around up and down. So you feel that kind of stretch in the Achilles tendon. You feel the toes open up. And as you do that, start to feel what part of that you can adjust your breath cycle with. Like as you lift the heels, maybe exhale, and then inhale as you lift the toes. We're just getting that movement in the feet. On the bottom of the feet are called uh, Yang Quan points. Those are energy points. And just like in the hand, right around where the knuckles are, that's where our Yang Quan points are. And they help us draw up healing energy from the earth. And then pressing the feet down, feeling the big toe, the little toe, and the heel, those are our, uh, that's kind of like our balance tripod. And as you press down, feeling the muscles in the legs. So we want to now become aware of the body in its entirety. So make sure your toes are paint, uh, pointed forward. You want to make sure that your knees are over your ankles. You don't want to have your feet behind. You want to make sure we have a nice 90 degree bend in the knees. And then looking at those knees, letting them line up with the heels. And then moving up a little bit higher, this lower abdominal area is called the lower dantian or jing. So we want to move this a little bit so we lengthen that spine. So as we pull the abdominals in, that helps to massage the body organ. That also lets the tailbone and the lumbar vertebrae stretch and lengthen. So let's rock the pelvis back and forth, exhaling as you pull the abdominals in. Inhale as you let that belly come forward, but let that pelvis move. And remember to always move to the point of sensation, not to the point of pain. And as you move the pelvis, try to keep the upper body steady. Just moving back and forth and feel the feet as you're doing this as well. And then come to a neutral position, but one that you still feel your abdominals are engaged. And then bring your attention up the body, up the rib cage. So you want to feel like the front of the body is lifting up. So you feel the sternum is lifting up. And at the same time, you want to feel like the shoulder blades are moving down and back. 
And let's do some shoulder rolls just to try and encourage that to happen a little bit better. And when you lift up the shoulders, try not to move with the arms. Lift with the shoulder joint, the shoulder blades, and you'll feel the collarbone. They're all part of what's called the shoulder, shoulder girdle. So lifting up, rolling back, pulling down. Lifting up, pulling back, and down. That also helps to start to loosen up the muscles at the upper back and also in the neck which of course then is going to help the ones around the head and the neck relax as well. And we'll work on that too in just a moment. Let's do one more of these up, back, and down. So you want to feel like your shoulders are being pulled down to the earth. The arms are heavy and lengthening down. And then bring your attention to, you want to put the tongue to the roof of the mouth. What that does is there are meridians, which are like our energy circulatory system in the body. We have one meridian that comes from the bottom of the body up to the palate, and then we have another one that runs over the back of the body. So we, by keeping the tongue to the roof of the mouth, that helps those energy meridians line up and connect, and that allows that energy to flow even better. It also helps to balance the, the muscles in the back and the front of the neck, especially if you've been sitting for a while and doing this, putting that tongue to the roof of the mouth helps to strengthen the alignment of the neck muscles and the neck vertebrae. And then bring your attention up a little bit further, letting the jaw just relax. We're gonna do some tapping, little gentle tapping motions, but just for now, just feeling the jaw relax. Feeling all the muscles in the cheeks relax. Feeling the muscles around the eyes relaxing. While you're still maintaining your posture, still maintaining the feet on the ground. Feeling the eye muscles relax. We can get ocular migraines. You know, the eyes have a tendency to become very sensitive, but when we allow those muscles to relax, that allows the tension to ebb out. Feeling the forehead relax. Feeling like the top of the head is lengthening up towards the heavens. The feet are connected to the earth. We feel that spine lengthen. And as we do this now, let's really start to focus on breath. And you can close your eyes if you want to during this time. Just make sure you don't fall out of your chair, you get too relaxed. So as you inhale, you want to enhance that breath and feel that energy just expanding out in front. Pause for a moment and then exhale. Exhale, let it ebb out. Maintaining your posture, inhale deeply, maybe for a count of three or four or even more if you can. And then exhale, same, exactly. And let's do that several more times, that enhanced breath with our enhanced posture. And you'll feel the mind just starts to relax as you concentrate on the breath. The mind is kind of like a radio, you know, that's in your car. You can only really hear one station at a time. We try to multitask. Really, it's very difficult for us to do properly all of those things. So right now, no matter what has happened to you today or what's going to happen beyond this class, just focus on your breath, feeling that expanse. Pause for a moment and exhale and let it come back and ebb back. Let's do that one more time, nice and deep. And then 
and exhale. And then resume your normal breath, but notice what happens. When you enhance your breath, and then you come back to what is your normal breath, your normal breath has now become enhanced. So that's why these deep breathing techniques are important. Expand the lungs. The lungs get used to filling up. Your body gets used to letting that energy, that chi energy flow. So now that we have worked on that, let's begin with from the bottom and work our way up where we're gonna finish up and doing some nice tapping and you know massaging kind of techniques on the head and the neck. So let's begin with the feet. So this time I want you to take the toes, stretch them out and then scrunch them up with your exhalation. Inhale, open those toes all the way out and exhale and scrunch them together. Let's do that one more time. Inhale and stretch and exhale. Back in and relax. Maintaining your posture, shift your body weight over to one side. Press that leg out so you feel that heel is pushing out, trying to maintain your posture. And then pull that heel back in so you feel the muscles underneath the leg or underneath the thigh. Let's do that a few more times. Press out with breath, pull back, and press, and back. And then put the foot down, readjust your posture. Remember, you want to be aware of what's happening in the entire body, especially through the core. So now shift your body weight over onto the other leg, lift this leg up, and press out and pull back so you feel the muscles in the thighs. We're getting rid of all that tension and back and still maintaining posture. One more time, press, bring it in and down. Readjust your posture. Let's do a little stretch to the side. So remember, don't do it very difficult. Don't do it with vigor or force. Just allow and engage those core muscles, pull in, and just allow yourself to rotate to what feels like a comfortable place for you to go to. Keeping the head and neck nice and tall. Don't force with the arms. Just engage the abdominals and let the body rotate to where it's going to get to. And just breathe there for a moment. And then release. And let's go to the other side. And very gentle on the head and the neck, especially if you have any tension, keeping the tongue to the roof of the mouth. And then gently come back to center. Then we're gonna stretch up and over. If you have a hard time doing that, just allow the body to stretch, keeping the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Allow that spine to gently move to one side and then pull up and engage those core muscles and then let yourself stretch to the other side. And up. And then let's come forward. Allow yourself to just stretch forward, stretch forward. And then roll all the way up, one vertebrae at a time, all the way up, all the way up. Uncurl the spine and let the shoulders roll down. So let's do that little sequence again one more time. We're going to stretch to one side, nice and gently, allowing that spine to just go through a rotation that's comfortable for you. Still breathing in this better posture and coming back to center. And then over to the other side. And then back to center. And then side bend. Remember to allow yourself to stretch, let the bottom arm support. And then lifting up. And remember to always go to the point of sensation, not to the point of pain. Stretch. And then up. And then allow yourself to come forward, to come forward, to come forward, and then roll all the way up. One vertebrae at a time. 
And let's do that a few more times. This time we're gonna lift the chin, lift the tail, and then come forward and roll all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Let's do that one more time. This time we're gonna go in reverse. We're gonna hollow out the abdominals, allow that spine to stretch, and then come forward and roll up and lift. And then let yourself settle back to that posture. Two more times. Exhale, roll, and lift, and down. And let's do that one more time. Hollow out the abdominals, roll, and lift, and relax. And then let's do a little, again, those shoulder rolls, because we really want to loosen up these muscles right up here, we always carry a lot of tension up there, no matter who we are. And let's do that again one more time. Let's take one arm. We're going to pull one arm down so we feel like we're lengthening from the ear down to the arm. And let the head stretch over to one side. Make sure you keep this shoulder down. Don't jam that shoulder up. And just breathe into that stretch, feeling those muscles. And then come up. Let's go to the other side, pull down gently and allow that head to stretch. So you feel that stretch more towards the front of the neck. And then up. Let's do the same thing to the back. So we're gonna take that arm, pull down, let the head stretch. And then lift up, other side, pull this down and stretch and come back. Also going to do, while we're staying in good posture, we want to loosen up the neck, especially where the head and the neck meet. That can be a very big source of pain, um, especially if we've been seated for a long time because your neck vertebrae and your muscles have been holding your head up all day. So keeping the tongue to the roof of the mouth, let's just do a gentle side to side motion as if you were saying no. Maintaining your posture, thinking of breath, and just focusing, feeling all the muscles in the body, becoming completely aware of every movement, everything that's involved. And then back to center. And then making a little circle as if you were using your nose to make a circle. Just so we start to loosen up those vertebrae, those tendons, those ligaments, tongue to the roof of the mouth, and let's go in reverse. Remember, just a nice little small circle, always going to the point of sensation. Hopefully you're not hearing too many crunchies going on like I am. And then back to center. So let's put the right arm behind the back so we feel a little bit of a stretch in the shoulder. And then we're gonna take the head and stretch over towards the left. So you want to feel that stretch from the shoulder all the way up to the ear. Just take a nice deep breath. And then release that out. Let's do the same thing, putting the left arm behind the back, that external rotation of the shoulder, and then stretching over towards the opposite side. And then back. Let's do that one more time. Put the arm behind the back stretch and then back to center switch sides and back so let's take a moment we're going to activate the energy areas in the hands called Lao Gong points so just take those hands and whisk them together that heat that you feel that's your chi Sometimes we've had, when I've been in a room with 20, 20 other people, man, we break out into a sweat even though the air conditioner is going on because we're all sharing our chi. Our chi is never ending energy. And when we practice whatever form we want, whether it's Tai Chi or yoga or Qigong, Pilates, we 
radiate with this healthy healing energy. So we get to pass that on to others around us too. So let's take a moment, stretch that energy across the body, across the heart and the long meridians, and then bring it back. Inhale, Exhale. So you might be feeling like a tingling, like a magnetic pull between the hands. That is your chi. So these kind of movements help us feel it. So we can really appreciate, uh, you know, it's not such a mystical practice anymore. We feel that chi. And we realize that, you know, all those years, those Chinese doctors would give people different movements to do. And, you know, without you know, a lot of medication. So this is our medication right here. Inhaling. Every time you control your breath, your blood pressure changes. Your blood sugar levels change each and every time. And release. Let's do that one more time. Bring the hands down by your side. Scoop up the chi from all around us and bringing it down in the front. So as you do this, let the elbows be soft. We want soft joints. The softer the joints, the better the chi flow. Feeling the breath, how natural it is to inhale as you lift the arms up. And then exhale as you let those hands just float. And just feel that chi flow as it becomes free to move. Just like when our circulatory system, our blood flow, and the chi actually increases blood flow as well. And they have found studies that Tai Chi works better than a lot of medication in reducing blood pressure. So that's something to think about too. As we know, a lot of times, you know, migraines can be a product of, you know, pulsing blood vessels, just that pounding feeling. So this will definitely help to calm that and bring it down. And there is no magic number to do this. Sometimes you just do it for a little while. This will be the last time on this. Great job. So we're going to um, do a little tapping on the body. So we're going to start with the lower abdominal area over the Dantian. When we do this tapping, uh, it's sending intentional healing vibrations into that abdominal area. We want our body organs to feel the love, so to speak, and so that they feel that our intention you know, telling them, thank you for keeping me as healthy as you can, and I'm going to do my part by doing some of these healing practices, by moving that chi to allow the body to heal itself. And just gentle tapping. Let's go over to one side. So we're going to do both sides, so it really doesn't matter. But what we do is we now are sending those healing vibrations onto um, that side, the organs on that side of the body. And then back to center. And then over to the opposite side. And again, just that gentle, gentle tapping. And then back to center. So now we're going to come up a little bit higher. We're going to come right over the heart and the lung area. And there's also the thymus is here. Thymus is the anti-aging organ. So we definitely want to give that a little, whoo, little, little tapping there. Thyroid, you know, we know that the thyroid is part of our uh, metabolic system. So just letting that tapping go on, feeling those vibrations, how good they feel. And then we're going to tap down one arm. It doesn't matter which one, but what you want to do is you want to start at the shoulder and kind of tap all the way down the inside of the arm, which is the inside. Give yourself a little hand there, activating that loud gong point. Coming around on the outside, 
all the way up the yang side, which is the outside, and then giving yourself a little, ooh, little nice tap up there, loosen that up, and let's go back down the front. Again, the inside of the arm to that Lao Gong point, and then up the outside of the arm, and again, oh, in that shoulder area, oh boy, feels good. And then one more time. Very good, and then around, and then up, and then up. And of course, when you do this on your own, you can do that many more times, but just for today, I'm just gonna do it three times. Three is a magic number, three and nine tend to be magic numbers in your Tai Chi. And then let's do the opposite arm, down the inside of that arm, up the uh, yin meridian, and then up the outside yang, and then on that shoulder too, and then back down. Give yourself a nice hand, all the way around. Up, let's do one more time. Feel that circulation, you know, that tapping helps to stimulate the circulation, stimulate that chi flow, oh, and then back to center. And then oh, feeling that vibration, feeling that pulsing of your blood, your chi, let's sink the chi. The more that you do this, the more you, you almost immediately start to feel your chi. Right. Now let's reverse. We're going to pull energy up right around the eyes, pull it across, press it out and down. Gather chi up, pull it across, out and down. So if you have any tension going on, just almost feel like you're just pulling it out, letting it go and down. Dragging that chi up, pulling it across and out. Let's do that a few more times, lifting up, pull and out and down. One more time, up, pull, out and down. So the next part, we're going to be doing some tapping and so forth on the face. So I'm going to take my glasses off. So we're going to begin at the top and kind of move our way down. So the crown up at the top here is called the Bay Way. So we want to kind of just tap on that Bay Way. Come down the front, the forehead, and around the sides. And if you have any, if you are experiencing migraine now, just, just gentle tapping, whatever feels comfortable for you. But remember that, that tapping, intentful, thinking of, you know, getting rid of all that tension that could be happening, especially in the facial muscles, the muscles all around the skull, you know, they tend to get very tense when we have migraines too. So this kind of lets them kind of put a little tension in and then let it go. Let's do that one more time. Good, and down. Let the arms relax. And now let's bring the arms and the hands. So now we're gonna go all around the forehead. And again, just gentle tapping. You can even use your fingers like this, almost like a little drumming. You know, whatever feels comfortable for you to do, and maybe even just pressing in a little bit on the muscle, whatever feels best for you to do. Maintaining your posture, remember your feet. And then staying here on the, the ridge of the eyebrows. And just doing a nice little pressing motion, especially in the corner of the eye. Especially if you have any sinuses that are act, acting up, you might feel a little tenderness when you press. Let's go underneath now. And there are also many meridians in the face and the nose, so just press all the way around. And 
now, let's just take the muscles, especially around the jaw. Just let that stretch. And just like, it's almost like you're just raking down the side. It doesn't have to be hard, just so that you're smoothing out, giving yourself a little deep tissue massage right there. And just think, no cost. So especially around the jaw, if you've ever had TMJ, you know that that can be very painful. And then making your way back, right under the nose, the nostril. This is also a very um, energetic area for headaches. So I've seen some people go like this, but I like to just gently press. Just press all around that upper lip area, lower nostril. And then underneath, And back up to the front of the ear. There's a, a very important muscle group here. So just massaging more, a little bit higher up on the jaw where the jaw and the ear meet. And then bring your attention to the ear itself. Just like the hands and the feet have reflexology points that represent all the organs in the body, so does the ear. So we're going to move all the way around. You can do little, you know, just little gathering. You don't have to pinch so hard, but just kind of send some sensation to that whole part of the ear, all the way around on the inside, all the way around on the ridges. Just so you feel like you're touching base on the whole ear, all the way around back out. And then behind the ear right behind the ear. You might feel, oh, there could be some tension. And just massaging that out. You feel the sides of the skull, giving that a little circular massaging action. And then let the arms come down, take a little break. Let's bring the hands up one more time. And so this time now we're just tapping where the head and the neck meet right here and just little tapping. And if it's too hard to tap, then just little circular pattern, letting that head relax and massaging the base of the skull. And then finally in the neck, up and down, letting that head and neck gently move. And then come back to neutral. So let's take a moment to sink the cheek. Time. Now let's come up to a standing position. So as you come up, make sure you use your feet gently. You want to make sure that your feet are facing forward. You want to readjust that posture. When you come up to that standing position, you want to feel like your shoulders are backing down, your sternum, which is also another energetic area called chi. You want to feel like that lower dantian, like you have your abdominals engaged, but you don't want to feel like your lower dotic, nor do you want to feel like that pelvis is tucked under. So let's do that pelvic tilt again, just a little bit more. Let the knees stay soft and just let all that action happen right through here. Right through here. And that massage down. Because many times when we have something going on in the neck or the head, the lower back also, it's like both ends seem to have something going on. Let's do one more. Good. And then let's do a circle. 
with the hips, circle around, feel what happens in the feet as you move those hips around, breathing nice and deeply. Now let's go the opposite way, rolling around. And then back to center. So we're gonna do a, um, a couple of standing movements. So let's do some tapping with rotation. And as we do this, just let the hands just gently tap on the body. Try not to force it, but feel that the shoulders loosen up. You feel that loosening up from the feet all the way up to the hips and then up through the body, nice and gently tapping on the body. And this time we're tapping a little bit more now onto the kidneys. So the kidneys help to cleanse the body, flush out toxins. So we want to send some healing vibrations into the kidney as well. And then release the arms, but let the body keep moving. And you want to feel like you're, you're in water and your hands are just moving across that energetic top of the water and the more that you do your tai chi and qigong the more that you'll actually really feel that but that's your visual feeling like your hands are running across water so you feel a little bit of resistance but not a lot feeling the body muscles feeling that loosening up and then come back to center so one movement we're going to do is called cloud hands. There's a couple of styles of cloud hands. This is the yang style. And so what you want to do is that continuing that rotational pattern, watching this hand on top, letting the bottom hand like it's scooping that energy across that lower dantian. When you get to the side, you want to switch the hands. They call it cloud hands because you want to feel, you know, if you've seen a nice little balmy day and you see those clouds gently moving across, that's how you want to feel. And just paying attention to that hand, your focus, you'll feel that chi energy moving. just breathing nice and deeply and just feeling how the body responds just flowing tai chi the nice thing about tai chi you know the older i get the more i appreciate it it's not this high powered you know jumping in place kind of a thing it's very gentle but it's very powerful and it was originally, you know, it came from the martial arts, which we know, of course, is very vigorous. But they took the energy from the martial arts. And when they slowed down these movements, found that it helped to improve our health internally. So Tai Chi and Qigong is an internal practice. Let's do one more to each side. back to center. So the next one we're going to do is really about opening up this upper body. So we're going to come forward. You want to pull the elbows together and do a little curling action, not big. You don't want to hunch over too much. You just want to really pull the abdominals in rather than forcefully coming down, but feel the chest and then inhale and open out with the chin. Pull those elbows down so you can really feel that in those back muscles. Exhale as we just kind of curl a little forward. Inhale as we pull to the back. And let's do that several times. Exhaling forward. Inhale. And if you do have anything like osteoporosis or any kind of injury to the spine, try not to curl so much forward. This is more important. Just come a little forward. Use your best judgment. And back. 
forward and back. Let's do that again. Coming forward and back. And one more time. And back and letting the arms come down. So we're gonna bring the arms up. When we get up to about chest height, one arm is gonna turn up, the other one is gonna turn down. So we feel that stretch, top arm comes down. And then we'll repeat and we'll go to the other side now. So bring this up, turn up, turn down and lift and let that energy just go all around the other side. Let's do that again, bring this up. Top hand goes up, bottom hand goes down, bring that all the way down. And up. This one turns up, this one turns down and around. And let's do that one more time to each side. This turns up, this turns down. And, around. and then bring this up, this side up. This one down and around. So let's take a few moments. Let's kind of shake out those arms a little bit, the shoulders, the neck, just a little bit. Nice deep breath. So let's just take a few moments. Feeling that chi energy flowing. Maintaining your posture, feeling your feet. So let's bring the hands up. We're gonna take, this is called balancing. We're gonna balance the yin and the yang side of the body. So you take one hand, you're gonna swing it around. This one stays up. You're gonna look. You're going to pull it all the way down and you want to bring that thumb and hand down the front of the body. Let's do that to the other side, all the way out, round and down. Palm up to the back, look to the back as far as you comfortably can, bring it down in front. Let's go to the other side. Remember to always move to the point of sensation, not to the point of pain. Good. Let's do that one more time to each side. One. And last time. And down. So let's put our hands together in prayer pose. Put your thumbs to your chi or your heart meridian. So as always, it's been my honor and pleasure to be your guide in your practice today. Thank you so much for sharing your energy. Even though we're not all in the same room, our energy is radiating from us and flowing from us, healing us, and also to other people. So remember that we are all a thread in the fabric of life. We are all spiritual beings having a human experience. And this has been one human experience this year, one thing after another. So it's always important for us to take this kind of time and give ourselves permission to heal and take care of ourselves. So the, the saying that I like to say uh, is the light and the spirit and the energy in me. So values, respects, honors, and appreciates the light and the spirit in each and every one of you. And in Chinese, that is Ni Men Hao, Jing Shen Chi. And then Chinese exit, thank you very much. Yay, great job, everyone. Yay! Thank you again, Susan. Always such a restorative session. I hope all of our participants enjoyed it. I, I appreciate and am grateful for each of you taking this time out to do something for yourself. Um, appreciate the modifications, Susan, but I'm finding that these sessions are really so restorative. And for all of you, we hope to see you each Thursday, the month of November. And these sessions are recorded and can be found on our website, 
milesformigraine.org so you can replay them as part of your weekly mindfulness. So again, thank you so much. It's a really great practice and I agree. I'm finding that I'm becoming very partial to um, Tai Chi. So thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. My pleasure. Bye-bye everyone. And if I don't see you, have a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>